Well, good afternoon. It's Friday the 26th of October and as you can see I'm in the caravan in the field yet again. Um, I had an early finish from work uh, this morning so I went to uh, to pick the boys up. Obviously with it being Friday it's doggy day so uh, we've got Chip and Dale which is great. And of course tomorrow we're going down to see Chuggabug and we're expecting some good news off Graham. We are expecting confirmation of the launch date. We don't think it's going to be when it should be, um, which is a bit of a bad news for us because we are getting very impatient now. Um, my daughter is expecting our first grandchild any day now. Um, and we don't want to be living in a caravan when she brings him home. We want him to come and visit us on a nice warm boat. Not that the caravan isn't warm, but obviously this isn't the environment that we want our new grandson to come and visit the grandparents in. We want um, we want to be on the boat. We want to be settled. And we don't think it's going to happen, which isn't good news. Um, yeah, and for friends uh, that are on Facebook, on Chuggabug, um, we've had an interesting week. Uh, and we've shared a few stories. And one of them, mainly, is about this little car. It's quite bizarre. Bizarre story, but true, I promise you. And I was sat in the caravan about 10 minutes ago and the vlog that I put on last Saturday afternoon um, has actually had over 5,000 views, which is astonishing. I don't think any of our vlogs have ever reached that, certainly not in that amount of time anyway. Um, so thank you for viewing and thank you to all the new subscribers because uh, we've had a few more of those. We've just got a, a smidgen under 1,400 subscribers now so the channel is growing which is quite surprising um, took us both by surprise um, but obviously people that are watching and have sub uh, that have subscribed are interested in narrow boating and who knows perhaps thinking about doing the same journey that, that we're doing congratulations as well must be said to Sue and Russ who are two subscribers um, who have been following our narrow boat dream and other um, boating channels and they decided to make the move to sell their house and buy a boat well that's exactly what they've done they've moved aboard their boat um, I'm not going to say the name of the boat but it's a beautiful new build boat uh, by Aintree Boats beautiful boat and they arrived at Tatton Hall Marina yesterday brilliant news enjoyed following your journey uh, Sue and Russ and congratulations um, we were a bit emotional Sandy and I in the caravan last night we're looking at your pictures etc and I have messaged you and hopefully we can come and see you this weekend at some time so congratulations great stuff and we hope to be joining you soon so uh, put some wine in the fridge okay well if nothing happens this afternoon it's a Chinese for us for tea a few wines and then chug a bug tomorrow morning but dad how come you get to eat nice Chinese meals and all I get are them crummy dog biscuits? Because Chip, you saw what you did a couple of weeks ago in Chuggabug. There's no way you're having any more spicy food. Ah, oh, but Dad, that's just not fair. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes, Chipster. Well, the Saturday morning, once again, it soon came round and we were on our way down to Cunliffe Boats. But we decided to go a slightly different way. Um, still takes the same amount of time. Uh, but we decided to go round the back of Beeston Castle, which stands proudly above the Cheshire Plains. And we stopped to have a look at one of the old entrances. Fantastic old fort building. So just for a change as well, we thought we'd stop off and have a nice breakfast uh, this morning in Nantwich Marina. It's a place we've been to several times as the food in the marina is excellent. Well, it's hard to beat this breakfast. Lovely breakfast, and it wasn't there for long, I can promise you. And what a view. 
and on the way from the marina we decided to drive through Nantwich and just to the right of that uh, aqueduct that's where we met Kevin, country house gent. Nearly there now and a little nod again to my previous job. I've delivered many a time to that garage. And now that exciting time as what will be revealed behind that big steel door. Well, soon on board Chuggabug, and we noticed that a lot of the panels and the bulkhead timber was on by the bow doors, and the radiator was fitted, and a couple of electric sockets. The timber to the port side was also cut and prepared, uh, and Graham was going to put it on later that day. But look at this. The galley has a worktop. Not completely fitted as yet, as this little overhang here will be cut short. It isn't actually fitted yet, it's just uh, sat in situ just to have a look. And the draining vents need to be etched into the worktop there by Graham. And obviously the hob still needs to be fitted in this area. But as I said, that overhang won't be here. You won't see any joins either, because they'll be polished up together and Sandy couldn't resist buying a bin on the way and we had to try to see if it would fit. Well, on the last vlog we did actually have a comment to say that the shower enclosure was on upside down, but it isn't. I think the viewer had just seen this handle, so we just swapped them around. Now, a lot of work had been done under the vanity basin for the plumbing, etc. And the whale pump will sit underneath that cover there. The heated towel rail had also been fitted. Looking good. So, it's all looking good. But this strange contraption is a hospital silencer. It's basically the exhaust system for Chuggabug. And here is the timber for our cratch frame and for the wood to go on the stern rail at the back of the boat. These are the vanity unit doors which uh, Graham had er made earlier that morning. Obviously they're pressed here to be glued together and then later to be sanded, treated and stained. And the date. The date is revealed. Yep, so it's late afternoon on the Saturday. Good day. Um, run a few errands, been down to see Graham at Cunliffe Boats and Chuggabug's looking good. I know it doesn't look like a lot of work's been done, but trust me, I know there has. A lot of wiring has been done. Um, a lot of plumbing has also been done that you don't necessarily see and I don't want to film it all because uh, it gets a bit boring but uh, he's certainly been a busy boy and we're so pleased with those worktops and also I've got my little friend here to tell you a little bit of news Yay! So Gary, Sandy, Chip and Dale went down to come lift boats and Graham's told them when Chuggabug's getting a bum wet it's going to be the 20th of November at Swanley Bridge Marina. So the date, the 20th, made up. Um, well, we are made up that we've got a definite date now. We did think it was going to be week commencing the 5th of November, uh, the week after next, but unfortunately it isn't. Can't be helped, one of those things. Um, yeah, bit disappointed, but at least we have a date. The engine is actually made to order, so that's handmade. It's on the bench now, and he is expecting that in the next week. So hopefully the engine uh, will be fitted, because that's that's a big job. A lot of work's gone into Chuggabug. We are pleased. And incidentally, my little friend there that uh, introduced the, the date, it's an idea I've got. Um, I'd like to write a children's book. Um, I do do draw. I do do draw. I do draw, as a lot of you know, um, seriously, and I can do cartoons. And I've thought about it for a while. I've got a few little characters that uh, we could put in a book. Larry the Lock and Windy the Windless. There's a few characters that uh, I'm thinking of and a few stories that Sandy and I are putting together. And also a couple of people 
that are interested in helping me with the uh, stories. So um, who knows? There may be a children's book with chug a -bug in. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and I do welcome your comments. Uh, we did have a comment last week um, about uh, and quite valid comment. Uh, the dogs were loose in the car. We don't have them loose in the car as a rule, but I note, yes, we were wrong, but the car was full of stuff that we were taking down to the boat. And because we only get the boys at the weekend, we didn't want to miss the opportunity of having them. I can assure you, we do keep them in their carry case at all times and they are safe. We treasure them little boys. So, but thanks for your comments anyway. Right. The journey continues, but it ends on the 20th of November. Catch you next week.